Hey, 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 bubs. It's been a few days. I've been um in a bad mood or something like that. Nonetheless, we're back with some Quran. Quran. What's your name, man? Let them laugh a little, much will they weep, recompense for the evil that they do. If then Allah bringeth these back to any of them, and they ask thy permission to come out with thee, say, Never shall ye come out with me, nor fight any enemy with me, for ye prefer to sit inactive on the first occasion. Then set, sit ye now with those who stay behind. Nor do thou ever pray for any of them that dies, nor stand at his grave. For they rejected Allah and his messenger and died in a state of perseverance, pers perverse rebellion. Nor let their wealth nor their following in sons dazzle thee. Allah's plan is to punish them with these things in this world and that their souls may perish in their very denial of Allah. When a surah comes down in joining them to believe in Allah and to strive and fight along with his messenger, those with wealth and influence among them ask thee for exemption and say, leave us behind. We would be with those who sit at home. They prefer, they prefer to be with the women who remain behind at home. Their hearts are sealed and so they understand not. But the messenger and those who believe with him strive and fight with their wealth and their persons. For them are all good things, and it is they who will prosper. Allah hath prepared for them gardens under which rivers flow to dwell therein. That is the supreme felicity. And there were among the desert Arabs also men who made excuses and came to claim exemption. And those who were false to Allah and his messenger merely sat inactive. Soon will a grievous penalty seize the unbelievers among them. There is no blame on those who are infirm or ill or who find no resources to spend on the cause. If they are sincere in duty to Allah and his messenger, no ground of complaint can there be against such as do right. And Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. Nor is there blame on those who came to thee to be provided with mounts and when thou saidest i can find no mounts for you they turn back their eyes streaming with tears of grief that they had no resources wherewith to provide the expenses the ground of complaint is only against such as a as claim exemption while they are rich they prefer to stay with the women who remain behind allah hath sealed their hearts so they know not what they miss. They will present their excuses to you when ye return to them. Say thou, present no excuses. We shall not believe you. Allah hath already informed us of the true state of matters concerning you. It is your actions that Allah and his messenger will observe. In the end, will ye be brought back to him who knoweth what is hidden and what is open. Then will he show you the truth of all that ye did. They will swear to you by Allah when ye return to them, that ye may leave them alone, so leave them alone, for they are in ab abomination, and hell is their dwelling place, a fitting recompense for the evil that they did. They will smear unto you that ye may be pleased with them, but if ye are pleased with them, Allah is not pleased with those who disobey. The Arabs of the desert 
are the worst in unbelief and hypocrisy and most fitted to be in ignorance of the command which Allah has sent down to his messenger. But Allah is all knowing, all wise. Some of the deserts Arabs look upon their payments as a fine and watch for disasters for you. On them be the d disaster of evil, for Allah is he who heareth and knoweth all things. But some of the desert Arabs believe in Allah in the last day and look on their payments as pious gifts, bringing them nearer to Allah and obtaining the prayers of the messenger. A, indeed, they bring them nearer to him. Soon will Allah admit them to his mercy, for Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. The vanguard of Islam, the first of those who forsook, the, for, yeah, forsook their homes and those who gave them aid and also those who followed them in all good deeds, well pleased is Allah with them, as are they with him. For them hath he prepared gardens under which rivers flow to dwell therein forever. That is the supreme felicity. Certain of the desert Arabs round about you are hip hypocrites, as well as de de desert Arabs among the Medina folk. They are obstinate in hypocrisy. Thou knowest them not. We know them, twice shall we punish them, and in addition shall they be sent to a grievous penalty. Others, there are who have acknowledged their wrongdoings, they have mixed an act that was good with another that was evil. Perhaps Allah will turn unto them in mercy, for Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. Of their wealth, take alms that so thou mightest purify and sanctify them and pray on their behalf. Verily, thy prayers are a source of security for them, and Allah is one who heareth and knoweth. Know they not that Allah doth accept repentance from his votaries and receives their gifts of charity, and that Allah is verily he, the oft returning most merciful. And yea, blah, and say, work righteousness. Soon will Allah observe your work and his messenger and the believers. Soon will yea be brought back to the knower of what is hidden and what is open. Then will he show you the truth of what of all that yea did. There are yet others held in suspense for the command of Allah, whether he will punish them or turn in mercy to them. And Allah is all-knowing, wise. And there are those who put up a mosque by way of mischief and infidelity to disunite the believers and in preparation for one who warred against Allah and his messenger aforetime. They will indeed swear that their intention is nothing but good, but Allah doth declare that they are certainly liars. Never stand thou forth therein. There is a mosque whose foundation was laid from the first day on piety. It is more worthy of thy standing forth for prayer therein. In it are men who love to be purified, and Allah loveth those who make themselves pure. Which then is best, he that layeth his foundation on piety to Allah and his good pleasure, or he that layeth his foundation on an undermined sand cliff? ready to crumble to pieces, and it doth crumble to pieces with him into the fire of hell, and Allah guideth not people who do wrong. The foundation of those who so build is never free from suspension and shakiness in their hearts until the hearts are cut to pieces, and Allah is all known wise. Allah hath purchased of the believers their persons and their goods, for theirs in return is the garden of paradise. They fight in his cause and slay and are slain, a promise binding on him in truth. Though through the law, the gospel and the Quran, and who is more faithful to his covenant than Allah, then rejoice in the bargain which ye have concluded, that is achievement supreme. Those that turn to Allah in repentance, that serve Him and praise Him, that wander in devotion to the cause of Allah and bow down and prostrate themselves in prayer and enjoy good and forbid evil and observe the limits set by Allah, those do rejoice, so proclaim the glad tidings to the believers.
It is not fitting for the prophet and those who believe that they should pray for forgiveness for pagans, even though they be of kin. After it is clear to them that they are companions of the fire, and Abraham prayed for his father's forgiveness only because of a promise he had made to him. But when it became clear to him that he was an enemy of Allah, he disassociated himself from him, for Abraham was most tender-hearted, forbearing. And Allah will not mislead the people after he hath guided them, in order that he may make clear to them what to fear and avoid, for Allah hath knowledge of all things. Unto Allah belongeth the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He giveth life and he taketh it, taketh it. Except for him, ye have no protector, no helper. Allah turned his favor to the prophet, the Muhajirs, and the Ansar, who followed him in a time of distress. After that, the hearts of a part of them had nearly swerved from duty. And he turned to them also, for he is unto them most kind, most merciful. He turned in mercy also to the three who were left behind. They felt guilty to such a degree that the earth seemed constrained to them for all is for all its spaciousness and their very soul seemed straightened to them and they perceive that there is no fleeing from Allah and no refuge but to himself then he turned to them and they might repent for Allah is all returning most merciful O ye who believe fear Allah and be with those who are true in word and deed it is not fitting for the people of Medina and the Badun Arabs of the neighborhood to refuse to follow Allah's messenger, nor to prefer their own lives to his, because nothing could they suffer or do but was reckoned to their credit as a deed of righteousness, whether they suffered th thirst or fatigue or hunger in the cause of Allah or trod paths to raise the ire of the unbelievers or received an injury whatever from an enemy for Allah suffereth not and the reward to the lost of those who do good nor could they spend anything for the cause cause small or great nor cut across a valley but the deed is inscribed to their credit that Allah may requite them with the best possible reward nor should the believers all go forth together if a contingent if a contingent from every expedition remain behind, they could devote themselves to studies and religion and, and admonish the people who they return to them, and thus they may learn to guard themselves against evil. O oh, ye who believe, fight the unbelievers who gird you about, and let them find firmness in you, and know that Allah is with those who fear him. Whenever there cometh down a surah, some of them say, which of you has had his faith increased by it? Yeah, those who believe their faith is increased and they do rejoice. But those in who, but those in whose hearts is a disease, it will add doubt to their doubt and they will die in a state of unbelief. See they not that they are tried every year once or twice, yet they turn not in repentance and they take no heed Whenever there cometh down the surah, they look at each other, saying, Doth anyone see you? Then they turn aside. Allah hath turned their hearts from the light, for they are a people that understand not. Now hath come unto you a messenger from amongst yourselves. It grieves him that ye should perish. Ardently anxious is he over you. To the believers is the most kind and merciful. But if they turn away, say, Allah sufficeth me. There is no God but he. On him is my trust. He is the Lord of the throne of glory supreme. I'm going to stop there. Thank you, thank you. Y'all be good, not bad, and I love you. Oh yeah, and shouts to the shirt. Turn up.